What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Bonnie Tyler. And we're going back to the very best of compilation. Once again, big shout out to Michaela for sending this and much else, which we have yet to start going through. Uh, I am going to skip over Total Eclipse of the Heart. I reacted to that tune. It got blocked, so I had to mute the song audio. It is up on my Patreon in full form. Um, you probably have to scroll down a little bit because it was um, you know, two to three months ago, I think. Uh, nevertheless, uh, it is available there, uh, and on the other side of that track, we get straight from the heart. It feels like similar sort of territory, the idea of telling someone or feeling something you know, from the, the essence of your emotional core, the idea of not filtering it through, you know, any strategic um, purpose, meaning sometimes we say things purposefully because we want to elicit a certain type of reaction or we want to um, precipitate a certain behavior in someone. Other times you may speak straight from the heart, meaning without considering how it may you know, be um, taken or how it may be um, convenient or otherwise in a given situation. It's like, you know what, this is how I feel. That's, you know, that's straight from the heart. There's, there's no unvarnished, or that is the unvarnished truth. Uh, are things varnished? I feel like we always say unvarnished. And does anyone say varnished? It's like daunted. It's like, you so rarely hear daunted, but you hear undaunted all the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll get back on track here. Uh, I'll just say that, yeah, it seems like we're going to be talking heavy emotions and passionate feelings maybe with a lack of, you know, a bit of confusion, you know, strong emotions, especially when they maybe run counter to what logically you would normally be thinking in a given circumstance, they can be a bit um, disorienting. Uh, but either way, I would expect it to be passionate. I should mention, I was listening to Holding Out for a Hero the other day, and it was like, just when I did the reaction to that tune, I could not believe her vocals. So I know people were saying some of her best stuff is the maybe pre-80s folksy stuff with a bit more of a, you know, country uh, pop type of flavor. Uh, and we have heard a couple of those, which I have enjoyed. But I am hoping there's at least one or two more that have that kind of intense 80s, um, you know, heat of uh, holding out for a hero. Because, again, when I re-listen to that tune, I just, I still can't believe it. So, in any case, let's listen. This is Straight From The Heart by Bonnie Tyler, included here on the very best of compilation. Country pop feel, some powerful, some bluesy guitar. Yeah, I was gonna 
everything in that tune including her singing with that same intensity that I was requesting you know maybe the like surrounding sonics were a bit different than I was imagining but uh, so yeah like the country pop segment like the verses I guess it had this sort of laid-back um, folksy type of feel but it also had this marching quality to it like the percussive rhythm was a very much like a marching type of feel so it felt like proceeding, like moving forward in time. But then she's talking about like not wanting to, you know, give up on the idea of starting again with this person. So like we get a sense of time moving ahead, but she's still hoping that like essentially she can loop back and begin, you know, forward again with this other person. And um, like the last uh, few reaction sessions I've done, I feel like there's been at least a couple tunes that are about you know, that feeling of like, dang, you know, this didn't work and, you know, maybe logically it would make sense to move on, but I don't want to do that. Like, I, I still feel like there's something here and, you know, if um, if it means, you know, doing what I have to, to to get there, then I'll do that. So it's another one. And like the, what was the first one? It was like, it's easier straight from the heart, but then like, as long as it's straight from the heart, it feels like, you know, it's the idea of being sincere about how they're feeling and not sort of, you know, maybe saying something that is strategic or more convenient, but which doesn't actually, you know, measure up to how you feel. Um, so I'm not sure of all the nuances of the lyrics, but it seems like a relationship has ended. She's still feeling like there's something that can happen. Hopefully they can start again, but there is this sense that there was a break, uh, you know, prior to the song starting, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, another cool tune, which again seemed to blend, you know, gospel and a bit of that folk pop, um, and then just, you know, vocals that I like, and again, I get it, maybe super raspy, even kind of like scratchy vocals aren't everybody's cup of tea, I absolutely love it, again, especially when it's a female voice that can do that, you know, part of why I like Alison Moyer so much is, you know, the stuff that I was hearing, like, very early, um, you know, her Yazoo stuff, um, and also even the, like, stuff as I've gone through her solo material, where it's like, I can't believe how raspy and just, you know, forceful she can get in the delivery, and here, it's, it feels like it's on a different level, and I get it now, part of that story is that she had surgery and it altered, like, her vocal dynamic, um, and made it perhaps more in that, uh, style, but like it's just crazy. Like her voice is singular. When I hear it, like I feel like if I saw her at a concert, my brain would just be blown like constantly. Like by the time I left, like I wouldn't have a like brain case anymore. Um, in any case, the next tune is a rockin' good way to mess around and fall in love. A duet with Shaken Stevens. So yeah, that's the title's a bit of a mouthful. I'm uh, and it's a, another one with a parenthetical. Uh, the like formal part of the title is a rockin' good way, uh, which is an already an interesting title. Uh, and then, like I said, uh, it's a duet with Shaken Stevens. I don't know who that is, but I look forward to it. Once again, shout out to Bonnie. Shout out to Michaela. I very much appreciate um, all the physical media that people have been sending me, and you know we'll get through everything. Even though um, you know I have to try to work everything in in a way that I'm not just you know slowing down even more deep dive so I know everyone knows this but uh, I promise I will get to everything and I appreciate all those who have sent me music both digitally and physically in any case let me know what you think of the tune I will see you next time peace <laughs> 